just cruising out sword fishing today and then we got distracted we saw a bunch of soury jumping out of the water so we put the tuna lures out but now we could see something hitting them but it wasn't hitting our tuna lures so we're just going to pull them in and then head straight to the sword fishing spot What's the reason for a small bait, Jack? Uh, my mate reckons better hookup rate, and from what we've seen, bigger skippies, they're quite messy eaters, so they, they suck these baits down nicely. It's gonna work. All right, we've come up tight. I don't know what it is. But who knows what it is under there? Who knows? Like a yeah, the, the markers I had on me like that. Yeah, it feels like that, I'm like doof. Yeah, but it's hope it's swordfish. Get around the front way. Another 300 meters to go, Dad. That's the front you want to side. Alright, so it's doing what a swordfish is supposed to do. It's come up, come to the surface from 450 meters deep. We haven't, he hasn't broke yet, but he's pretty close. He's just gaining. He's almost on the under lead. leader. He's going to come, he's going to broke soon. Alright, we're on the leader. Where is he? What is he? Oh. oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go boys. Oh yeah, Luke, whatever it is, that felt like a That's marker a sword fish, bro. It's a sword, you reckon? Get us a bit closer if you can, mate. There's no way a mark, um, a, a shark don't swim up like that, eh? Sure, he came on a pretty steady angle, didn't he? You still rolling, chart? Yeah. Say REC. They're yeah, just boy. really aggressive fish, eh? So he he could come he could come across in front of us. Yeah. Well, he's starting to want to go now. Yeah, it'll be this is us down to hundred now. Go a bit closer to the camera. Just gotta keep that line tight, Josh. Yep. That rod tip up, eh? Oh no! Oh, oh, we lost him! Shit! Bloody lost him! Balls! Ah! That was a sword! Oh well. Uh, another dollar in the swear jar. Another ten dollars actually in the swear jar. Second drop. Beauty. Very uh, encouraging start to my illustrious sword fishing career. <laughs> Holy crap. So the leader's a little bit uh, scuffed up, sandpapered up, just up the top a little bit. And I think if it was a shark, there'd be cuts in the leader. The hook was blunt, so we must have hooked him in the bloody bill. And here we come right up. We've got him about 20 meters of the boat. We didn't see him, he didn't break the surface, but uh, yeah, Jackie Boy reckons textbook swordfish behavior, the way that he came straight up on an angle, and then the big boom, 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 tugs on the rod like a big fish just going like that. But we're gonna have another drop and see if we can hook up again. All right, second drop, line hit the bottom, we come up tight straight away. Straight away tight. Don't know what it is this time. It's got weight, but uh, it may just be a bloody ling or something. Who knows? Cut her out. Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah, you can get that out. Ready? Look, you're on, There we go. Uh, resetting drop number three. Dropping again, it's quarter past four in the afternoon. Man, the time just burns through out here. Jace has got his big 7.30 down out there. Troy Dando's out way over there somewhere. They haven't had any luck. We caught a skate. We had one sword come to the top, pull the hook right of the boat.
buddy, surrounded by tuna boats. We just saw a whole bunch jumping, so we thought we'd put the lines out, and I was just letting the handrail go, and it got torn right out of my hand. Barbell of Soxo, so we jumped off. Just saw a bunch of soury jumping over here, so we turned around. We're just dragging the lures through where we saw them, but only the one hook up yet, nothing on the boat. I'm just gonna catch a couple for a feed, maybe one for some sashimi, then go have another drop for a sword. Pull on, bro, pull on. Keep it going, moving forward slow, bro. Come on, Char, haul him in, bro. Oh, a little albacore. Yeah! <laughs> hey! Shot, mate. That's it, pick the rod up. You got him? Oh, I'll crank this on to crank it up, but. Oh, granny wine! Oh, there he is! What's going on, Shay? You see him? Man, we just had the shittiest luck. We had the bloody leader come out of the Chinese splice twice because we didn't put any serving on top. We thought it would be sweet, but what was happening as it was dropping, it was pushing the braid up and then the leader fell out twice. So twice we cripped up your eggs tied. Oh, all the rest of it dropped. And then, oh, go, oh, it happened again. Did it again. <laughs> Check goes, if this happens one more time, I'm gonna throw the towel in. And I said, I agree, but it's dark now, so we're out here for the night. We're committed, we're not going until the morning. Cause I ain't rolling across that bloody bar again in the dark. Or am I? Ah, we are gonna stay out here at night and just see what happens. Saw some tuna jumping before, that was pretty yeah. sweet. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. Was, wasn't it? So, hopefully now, we're gonna bloody get a sawfish. Stretched out. Good night, folks. I won't see you soon. That reel starts screaming. Oh, what a frustrating day to be able to come out here. And was that first drop, Jack, or second drop we got that sword? First drop. First drop, bloody hooked up on a sword. Lost it at the boat, pulled the hook, and then no more hookups for the rest of the day. Oh, one skate. One skate, the old dead weight skate, and lost a bunch of gear, lost a heap of sinkers, a heap of hooks. Yes. Money well spent though. Maybe tonight or tomorrow we'll get a swordfish. We're looking at going back in about midday tomorrow, one o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be back across the bar. I'm James. So long time yet. What time is it now? 10 o'clock, eh? 10 o'clock at night. 10.30. I'm going to wake Charlie up to see some phosphorescence. No phosphorescence out there yet, Jack? No, not yet. Not yet. Maybe not one of those nights. Phosphorescence is when all the little creatures in the sea glow when they die. Crazy looking, isn't he? Oh. Charlie. That was the worst sleep I had all night. Chopped up, it's rolly, bloody crap was banging all over the boat. I had to keep stopping this and banging, then someone else was banging. Jack slept on the floor of the boat because he didn't like me kicking him. And no swordfish, no bites, nothing. No squids. A little bit of life had it last night. Ah, oh, shit. Tuna time. Charlie wants to catch another albacore. I don't want to catch anything because I don't want to deal with fish when I get back in. I just want to catch a swordfish. Because they're so easy to deal with. You just chop them up, smoke them. I don't know what I'm going to have to smoke the swordfish in. My smoker's not big enough. Someone will have to smoke it big enough. Not too far out. Gotta bloody catch one first. Right. Don't worry, I stopped it. Oh, he's a nice one. 
Crooked shot. Jeez, you got a kingy on there or something. What the heck? He's giving her. Yay! Oh, just a little one. Gap in there, Charlie. Sink that gaff. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost caught me. Caught a couple of tuna for the smoker, and now we're gonna go have another drop for a sword, then we'll blim and go home. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not screaming reels because we've got a big fish on. We're just dropping again. We're dropping our way back up the bank. We've been here for an hour now. No swordfish. This is where we hooked the one yesterday. A couple of albacore tuna. I think we're gonna give it another 20 minutes here and then we'll boot and we've got to get back across the bar in another couple of hours because it's turning to custard this afternoon. Yeah. Oh it's just custard but it's got seaweed in it. Charlie's laying a log over the front. Don't shit on the boat bro! Austin! Balls! Yeah, that looks pretty good. Sweet. We're, I think that's our last sinker. We're <laughs> almost out of sinkers, man. This has been an expensive trip. We've lost so much gear. Holy shit. I don't know how many hooks and sinkers and meters of heavy pound mono we've lost, but we've almost run out of all of that stuff. Chris is going to be happy when I start online shopping when I get home. How much do you spend on that? Mean, and then hook the sinker on the bottom of it. No swordfish today. Stay down. Good dog, stay down. Well, let's see if Kristen's going to be that excited to see me. Hi. Hi. Dogs are way more excited to see me. Hey! You're alive. That's more like it, eh? Hey? I was so worried when we were going. I know, did you see your like 15 missed calls from it last night? Kristen was very concerned because about us staying out there at night and she was ringing and ringing. We we're 80 kilometers out at sea, we no, couldn't I hear anything. I just got worried because you told me you were probably going to come in. And what? And I never heard from you. You said you were going to come in. And then I never heard from you. Who said and such things? You did. Go nuts. Good knife, eh? Yeah.
mean, look at all that meat. Yep. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 